day two of these guys I mentioned on the dill. I have to admit, I know very little about caterpillar and caterpillar to butterfly behavior. I discovered, I was told, I was corrected. These are not uh, caterpillars for monarchs. These are caterpillars for swallowtails. They are super cool, don't get me wrong. And they apparently only like our dill. They did this last year, totally destroyed the dill in a very short time, just like they're doing today on this. But uh, yeah, like I say, they're cool. I wasn't expecting to see them here again today though, I admit. I would have thought they would have moved on. It is a bright, sunshiny day today. Just lovely, look at that. It's after 11, so it's starting to heat up, so I imagine we'll start to see some of the friends that we have here. Some butterflies will come along. Enjoy the butterfly bushes. There's a bee on one of them right now. And our hummingbird will come along. Yeah. The hummingbird likes the stuff over there which I can see from my spot inside pretty well. Most days I um, try to get a photo and I've been just really mostly bad at it. <laughs> um, but I do have a hummingbird feeder over there. And again, tight close up because I'm shirtless in, in my son. Uh, and there's some other flowers over there that he absolutely, he or she absolutely prefers, which is to be expected from the hummingbird rather than the feeder. Um, I usually, I boil the solution so that it doesn't grow mold, ideally, and then I change it every week, you know, five days every, so actually I should do that. Welcome to Friday. I like Friday, especially on Fridays a day like this. Holy cow, this is fantastic. All right, I'm uh, not working at all in this particular lunch sunbathing time. I'm actually reading and enjoying it, so back to the book. Well, one good thing that happened today, our next door neighbor was getting some stumps ground on some property she has in her house next door and had the guy give a price to um, grind up our big stump right there. And it was a very good price, so we, oh gosh, that's my face. So we had him do it, 70 bucks. Now I've got a whole bunch of uh, ground up stump mulch that I can use somewhere. I don't know where I want to put it, but I'll, I'm sure I can find a place. <sighs> Washed my car, dried it, um, did the windshield and the back windshield with the uh, rain -X. And then ended up washing my kid's car too, after putting air in several tires as well. But, cars and coffee in the morning, so uh, that'll be up next. It's about eight o'clock, Saturday morning. And this is what we're doing. Oh, I've already done some other stuff. Polished up my headlights. Waterproof the convertible top. Polished the gas cap because it's aluminum and it's kind of sketchy. Got some batting to go through the water coming out of the pump and fish pond. Hope to get some of the energy out. I'll show you all that. Yep, on our way to Cars and Coffee. 
Toyota Supra, or the Pupra as we call it, is behind me. And uh, some Honda Pilot is just is harshing my mellow. They're destroying my vibe on this ride on one of my favorite roads around here. <sighs> People that obey the speed limit sometimes, I tell you. It's enough to drive you crazy. guys do that on my cars too. Everybody does it on every car pretty much. Just because it hides stuff. That's pretty cool. It's pretty clean. Here's an old fun thing. I can drive. I don't think I would fit in those seats. <laughs> Look at that. Sure you would. I don't get some people's sense of humor. Power wagon's cool. <laughs> we had a Corvair that was that low, but that's just because it was a Corvair. Pretty wild. Oh, power wagon's heading out. I like that triumph. Of course, this one's pretty cool too. Does it that. So, pretty much. This is, we got a Nissan Xterra and this is dirty because this is what they're supposed to be. This, this shouldn't be clean, although the wheels are pretty clean. <laughs> Guys brought all their cars. We have here McLaren part two, the sequel. Second McLaren here today. It's pretty sweet. on four wheels instead of having wings. need to ride side by side with your person but uh, there they were I don't get it it's like people walking in the street when there's a sidewalk I don't get that either I don't get people I mean I do but I don't this this morning which is why I came a long way home uh, they are extending the bike walk path trail all the way along this road this is Kellogg Avenue uh, to meet up with the part that's kind of down the hill from my house to attach it to the Lincoln Trail. So you can pretty much bike from down the hill from my house all the way to downtown Cincinnati when this is finished and it's supposed to be done this fall. Pretty cool. I like that kind of stuff, right?
Kerbloomy. Okay, we knocked out this tree and I can see inside the tree. So yeah, this tree needed to get cut down. Assistance at the ready. Hello, assistance. Oh, uh, the knot water. came undone. Let us put the knot back up there. So I climbed up, I, there's a right here. No, right here, right here, I missed a little bit. Pretty sturdy. Well, here's what we did. Put you the sequel. <laughs> you can't see anything on this video. Well, there's a fire. The youngest is having a couple of friends over for a fire. And then the next door neighbors have a whole bunch of people over. Yeah. Me, I'm just here in the dark. We had a bunch of sand volleyball, had a tournament tonight. We stunk it up. Oh my gosh, it was pretty bad. But I perspired a lot. That was it. And we had fun, met some fun people from Lexington that came up to play. It was all good. So that's the end of Saturday. Cars and coffee, cutting down trees playing sand volleyball. All right, we will see you next time we see you. All right, hope you made your day what you wanted your day to be. Well, this happened. That's the weekend. It's actually no longer the weekend, but I, again, didn't really wrap up very well. So I hope you made your thing what you wanted your thing to be. Do me a favor, like the video. It's helpful with likes and stuff like that. Go ahead and subscribe. I don't ask too often, but if you are watching this video, tell people about it. Cause you know, nobody watches them. So it'd be fun for me to get some more viewers. Okay, you know, hit the subscribe button, do all that kind of fun stuff, ring the bell. And we'll, uh, see you in and soon because it's actually Monday and I'm about to upload this video so all right there here comes the closing screen Whoa.